hello guys welcome back to the channel i'm so glad that you are watching if you're new here welcome karibu my name is eva mutali and on this channel we talk about all things making money online in kenya in africa and worldwide we also talk about side hustle opportunities and we also talk about passive income so if any of these topics sound interesting to you then you want to hit the subscribe button below so that every single time i post a new video you do not miss out so without much further ado in today's video i'm going to share with you five main tips that you can use to get as many students as possible signing up for your foreign language courses or your foreign language teaching on italki or any other platform for that matter and these tips that i'm going to share with you are based on my own personal experience i have been teaching on italki for the last about one month and i teach my native language that is the luo and i also teach kiswahili on italki so if you're interested in finding out how to sign up for italki then you wanna check this video up here where i share with you the step-by-step -step process that i use to sign up on the italki platform so the number one thing you want to do to increase the number of students signing up for your foreign language courses whether you are teaching on italki or any other platform for that matter is to check your profile so when you sign up on a platform such as italki you have to put up a video introduction and you also have to put up a written introduction about yourself take advantage of these sections of your profile because this is the first thing that a potential student will interact with and this is what they are going to use to make a decision on whether to sign up for your language training or not so on your video you want to answer three main questions who are you as a person? Who is Eva? And number two, you want to answer the question, why should the student sign up with you and not with thousand other potential students on that particular platform? Number three is your personality. You want to make sure that your personality comes out as much as possible, both in your video and in your profile. So for example, in my case, I love to play the violin and have made sure to put that on my profile. I love to travel and I have made sure to put that on my profile. And I also love to learn different languages. And I have also mentioned that on my videos. And the beauty with coming, making sure that your video captures your personality is that it draws students or potential students who have similarities with yourself and also that have something that you share in common this is what is going to help you stand out from the other teachers who are offering the same language that you are offering or you intend to offer the number two way to increase the students who sign up for your language learning on italki or any other platform for that matter is your pricing of course, there is a standard recommendation, start low and then build up from there. However, I have a point of caution. Do not start too low unless, of course, your strategy for teaching foreign languages or your native language is to target low quality students only. You know, there are three kinds of potential students you will meet on the italki platform or any other platform for that matter so the first student is the one who is only interested in the teacher qualification so if you are not a qualified teacher they will not sign up with you and that is totally fine and that is why on the italki platform for example there is both the possibility to sign up as a community tutor which means you do not need a professional qualification in the language that you are offering to offer the languages or you can sign up as a professional teacher which means you are qualified you are certified to offer that language so for that particular kind of student for example who is explicitly looking for a professional teacher 
if you offer a low price it could signify that your quality is also very low there is also the student who is more concerned with low pricing and they could be doing it because they do not have a large budget alternatively they could also um be aware of the lower cost of living so they want to take advantage of the low, low cost prices and then we have the third group who is looking for a higher priced teacher because they believe that the price reflects on quality so if you know you are offering quality value then you want to offer a reasonable price don't lowball yourself too much so you want to take um do a little research of what other teachers are offering on italki and other language learning um platforms all other teachers that offer the same language that you are offering and then find a decent balance of how much you can offer right of course point number three if you are going to be teaching a foreign language online then algorithms are gonna have to be your friend so like all other internet platforms everything rolls around algorithms so you want to make sure that whatever you do your actions on the platform you are signed up for favor you so for example we are talking about your availability so for example if you are based in kenya for example and you are offering kiswahili language skills then most certainly your potential students are living outside of kenya or outside of africa which is a completely different time zone from yourself so to make sure that you are available to potential to your potential students you want to avail yourself at the time zones at which they are also available so that is something you have to look at and that is going to call for a lot of sacrifice so fortunately for me for example i already wake up very early in the morning by 4 a.m i'm already up and that has been something that has helped me to be able to get students that are on a later time zone in the u.s for example point number four is the moment you start getting students signing up for your courses or for your language learning courses on italki you want to make sure that you give your best and the beauty with giving your best is that it will help you from the point of view of getting reviews and testimonials positive reviews so once you have completed a class encourage your students to give testimonials and to give reviews because this also help with the algorithms and it also helps with potential students who believe in word of mouth advertising if somebody else has vouched for you they are likely to sign up with you so offer your best value to your students when they sign up and even later and make sure that you request them to give feedback to give a positive review another tactic that i have personally used is to make sure that your first class give as much value as possible go above and beyond if you have time to give an extra 10 15 minutes to your class go and give it because it will encourage your student to get more time to learn you as a teacher and also it increases your chances of them signing up for more classes so at the end of the class for example use thumbs up see you in the next class for example you can use um let the student know for example give nudges like on the next class we are gonna cover a b c d share with the student your plan and let them know that you are really out to make them learn this language and speak it well you can also take advantage of outside of class opportunities to send nudges to students like for example in the middle of the day you can send a nudge and say hey in kiswahili if you're teaching kiswahili for example hey how are you doing how has your day been have you gotten any other opportunities to practice your kiswahili like don't just take the class and disappear yeah try to send nudges here and there it takes like two three five minutes just to you know encourage a student to keep learning and they're likely to sign up with you last but not least take advantage of your social media handles to market your training or to market your language learning services so for example i am a youtuber and i take every opportunity to share with other people and let them know that i'm currently teaching kiswahili 
and the Lua languages online. I also share on my Facebook platforms. I share on my Instagram profile and let people know that these are the services I'm currently offering. So advertise and market yourself outside of the italki platform or whichever platform that is that that you're currently offering your services on because you never know you could be talking to your potential student or you could be talking to somebody that knows a potential student or somebody who is interested in learning the language that you are offering you can also consider once you have um ha built a rapport with your student maybe you've had like 10 15 classes together you can um, request them to refer you to their friends, relatives, or any other people that they know who may be interested in learning the language that you are offering. Well, guys, those are the five main tips that have personally worked for me in getting more students to learn Kiswahili and Dholua with me on the italki platform. Let me know if there are other tips that you have used or have worked for you. In the comment section below and um thank you for staying up to the very end i look forward to meeting you on the next video bye bye